We will see in this small video how to define an external tendon in our MM bridge. First, in our modular cross section, we put the different point for the deviator, top and bottom, and also the start point at the center of gravity of the section on the abutment. Once this section is defined, use it all along the bridge and transfer the whole thing to the analysis. Just compute the section so we have the points at the right place and define our tendon. Be careful when you define your tendon to check that the tendon type is external. Next thing is to define the elements from 101 to 121, which is our first span in the bridge. We can now define the geometry. The first point at the center of gravity, we will start with a cable part. So we define starting it at the first point, so at the center of gravity. And the only thing we have to do is to give a number for the cable. Then we will define the first deviator, which is at element 108. On deviator, it always starts with a free point. This free point uh, is the limit between cable and internal tendon, and free because RM will put it where it wants. Then we define the inter intersection point between the tangent, which is in the middle of the element 108. Set it to the bottom point at the cross section, and because it's, there is a curve, we place the radius of the curve uh, to avoid this point. Then we will start with a new cable element. So at the end of the deviator element, 108, so it's a line element, and uh, we should put a new number, which will be number two. Set the different point location and tangent to free because RM will compute the exact position and tangent of this point. Then we can uh, we can put a new free point for the deviator. Next deviator at 118. Then copy the ISP point, so intersection point, so set it from 108 to 118 but with the same data. And finally, start with a new cable element. So that means that we copy the line element at the element 118 and with a new cable element with the number of three. Now we will arrive at the top deviator where we anchor that cable. So it will start at 128, our first segment and pier. It's a free point that will be defined by RM bridge. Then we define the theoretical intersection point between the tangents at the end of the element 128 and at the location of the top point in the defined cross section. We can end up this, uh, so we put the radius value and we can end this uh, tendon with two different points so we have to add a new line point to end this tendon but in this case there is no cable starting so we just define this point uh, near the end of the element so point 9 on the element 129 it's a free point also But in this case, we will not define it at external and no numbering, just the point to indicate that this is the end of the tendon. And finally, for the last point, we put a normal point like in an internal tendon. So at the end of 129, which is at the top point, or maybe it could be another point if you want, and set don't forget to set the x divided by l at 1 at the end of the element. And now our tendon is defined on the first span. So we can recalculate and look. So we start with cable 1. At the deviator, we have an internal point, an internal tendon. Then second deviator, 
going from C2 to C3, and finally, on the top deviator, so we see the end of the cable 3 at element 128, and a nice curve until the anchor. To stress this tendon, use exactly the same procedure as for in 